video, we are going to cover important steps for properly wiring control cables between Enphase Energy System 3.0 devices. The Enphase control cable is a UL listed cable and is the only approved cable for use in Enphase systems. It's a four conductor cable. The conductors are black, orange, blue, and red. And the shield of the cable is called the drain wire. To connect cable from device to device, Cut segments of control wire long enough to wrap between device to device and add enough extra cable to reach the control cable terminal blocks. You will need to secure the cable so there isn't any strain on the wires or connectors. Strip the control cable insulation at both ends. You'll need about 3 inches of drain wire. Strip back the blue, orange, and black wires by 5 16th of an inch and trim the red wire down. You won't need it. Each device has two removable connection header blocks to connect the control cable wires into. This will make it easier to wire up. The header blocks have terminals that are color coded and numbered. Insert and secure the blue wire into the header terminal pin 1, the orange wire into header terminal pin 2, and black into header terminal pin 3. Pin 4 should be empty. When you have both ends of the device to device control cables wired with the terminal headers, plug the headers on each end into the header ports of the devices. Connecting the drain wire. The drain wire on each control cable segment between devices must be wired to ground at one side or the other of the cable. The drain wire on the other side can simply be trimmed off. To repeat this, each drain wire segment on the cable must only be connected to ground on one side and never on both sides. Terminating endpoints in the control wire system. Since the control cables in a system is wired in a daisy chained layout, there will always be open control cable ports on the first device and last device in the chain. These are endpoint devices. Each endpoint device must have a termination resistor installed, wired between pin 1 and pin 2 of the wiring header. The header is then installed on the open control cable ports at the endpoint devices. Don't lose the termination resistor, it's included in the components but packaged separately. 